I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. We are now two weeks into the new Pro League season, and on my stream, we already reviewed a bunch of interesting matches. Like this one, for example. Secret vs Navi on Oregon from playday number one. Coincidentally, I'm also live on Twitch right now, as long as you're watching this within the first few hours after release. If you're interested in seeing these kind of Pro League reviews live, you should check out my channel. Link is in the description. But I do like... Oh, first of all, I do like uh, Yana here. Yana's pretty, pretty good in terms of just getting so much information. By the way, I was wondering, um, if you like voluntarily exit Yana, the cooldown is not as long, right? But is it instant? So like, could she have cancelled the clone as soon as she saw Jaeger? And then therefore like get only half the cooldown or something? Or is that, is there an animation associated with that? So this is also, um, there's still a cooldown I think, not instant, okay. So this is what I've been talking about uh, regarding the lobby side take, right? Like you uh, clear this, kind of similar to what Tempestorm did in one of their rounds. But you open this and you just just plant this corner, right? And you, the only thing you need to do is you, hold, you need to hold this cross. There's no other angle you're exposed to. I think if you like, I don't know, a layer of flashbangs here, maybe? Even better than that? Better? I think they, they are going to lose this, by the way. <laughs> but, uh... yeah, but that, that's, that's the angle you're supposed to hold, I think. Now you just uh, land. And like, it's going to get denied because of C4 here. But um, I, first, of all, first of all, it's not guaranteed that a C4 op is going to play here, close to side, right? That's, it depends. Uh, that's different from strategy to strategy. And uh, I also think that you can, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe you just flashbang this like a bunch of times. And um, that doesn't, if that doesn't work, I do think there's a Good chance you can just shoot the C4 of the air here. It's possible to click on that C4. I know obviously like the plant doesn't go down right and round looks horribly bad. But if the plant goes down here, looks pretty nice for uh, secret. Just plant forehead. <laughs> Best side rotation on this map, according to you? Uh, basement, kids, and then uh, dining kitchen instead of uh, meeting kitchen. But you're also going in this match. You're also going to see a pretty cool uh, big tower take against meeting. It also works out pretty well. It could have opened other wall for cross angle. They could have, but I think there's also an argument to be made that you don't want to open too many angles and like because that would mean taking map control of that kind of hallway 90 thing, right? It's a bit awkward to have map control there, I think. Because then you're worried about uh, basement stairs, you're worried about... Let me, let me show you a few. He switches perspectives. Right, if you if you also go here to play like this kind of angle, um, yeah, you're exposed to all of that behind us. So I think there's an argument that this might not be that good. Here we, here we again, uh, two freezer reinforced, two freezer walls reinforced. Again, I kind of dislike that. And this looks like a more of a default roam, right? Like someone something that you'd use to see. You, used to see on the old Oregon, where you reinforce attic wall, kind of extend into kitchen and meeting. Play the roam that way. What's up, Sir Classic? Hello, hello. And uh, see you, Jaeger. Thanks for hanging out. I wonder how he planned on using the 
Oryx ability though here. Because I'm Yeah, I guess it really it works out well if the attackers don't clear kids. Because then you can jump uh right like for example if he he jumped up kids now here. But I don't really see how he's going to use Oryx if he's playing on uh on the stairs. Not sure what the the big idea is here. And again, secret clearing the map in a way where they don't take big tower control. I do think that's a mistake, right? Like you don't need. I mean, I guess here it's kind of fine because they need to they need to actually clear roamers out. Um, but I do think they could spare a big tower player here. I don't think now, like I guess now the opportunity is kind of gone. But like maybe like ten seconds from now, Oryx jumps up, and that's kind of good, because then it makes clearing more difficult. But I don't see, I don't think Oryx is that. Uh, right. Where are you really going to use Oryx here? I think this is this is kind of due to them not clear not having a big tower player, right? Like a Navi playing in meeting. He and they also don't manage to drone it. But if they also had like a guy in big tower, kind of droning this, I guess. That would not have happened. The problem is like kind of like Doki can't get down there. Get down again. Bit of an issue, but I guess that's just the nature of a roam, right? You can't always uh can't always fall back. Like the rest of the team fell back, right? You can't always fall back. And again here we have the thing where are they not even contesting this kind of freezer side? I guess it makes sense. Uh, if, if freezer walls are reinforced it's a bit difficult to play. In freezer itself. But I don't think you want to give up freezer that way. Freezer is really, really strong. Okay, so Oryx did manage to flank, but that wasn't due to his ability, or did he jump up? Did he actually jump up? Uh... Nah, there was no way he jumped up meeting hatch. Nah, he just walked upstairs. Also, what was the man situation here? It's also like, do you need to go for a flank here, right? Yeah, four v three. I don't see, I don't see the value, right? Like, what are you really doing here? There's just a chance that you run into a nomad trap and uh, die because of it, right? Sophia, here's what's going on. I do feel like in general, like flanking when you have man, man advantage is kind of weird. Running low on time, but still winnable, right? But you actually need to go now. <laughs> okay. I heard Meepy talking about secret, and now I just can't stop thinking about when it, when watching. It was when they clear everything, then they wait for thirty seconds while the IGL tells everyone what to do in the execution. Then at like twenty seconds, everything happens. I just can't unsee it when they ha when they happened. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna keep a lookout for that. But how many different strategies do they have? Where, uh, where the in-game leader, where they don't know what's going to happen, for the for the execution. Is leak talk allowed here or no? Just checking. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind leaks. And now we see uh, the meta. 
Goyo, Wamai, Jaeger, Monk. Although I do dislike uh, this kind of... I don't, I don't think you can hold trophy. I think, uh, I think once teams are going to, uh, to push it from... Uh, once teams are going to push it from Armory side and Master side, I don't think you can continue playing in trophy. But I definitely like seeing Goyo here, right? Like this Goyo shield is so strong. Oh, never mind. That no, was not intended. <laughs> like so many, like shields are just so strong. Especially in combination, because again, Maverick Thatcher banned, right? And here, I would also like to see a bandit again. That. No man. <laughs> Sure, why not? Just spawn ship. <laughs> Title is wrong. There is no PL. I mean, what? What is there like a an overarching uh, term for, to refer to Pro League? But like I'm watching both EU and NA games. Do I? What do I put in the title then? Esports. I guess like he kind of mute tricks you, that's kind of funny. Cause I, what? Might as well, uh, might as well bandit trick this. I like imagine how huge it would be to get a, a charge here, a timer charge here. Esport board review. <laughs> Thanks. The league that the pros plays in. <laughs> Uh, but now, like, you see how Attic is, like, super difficult for them? With the Wamai ADS, the shield. I think that's certainly the play. Okay, so... Can they...? Yeah, okay, they already gave up trophy control. And I think they didn't even use the shield in the end, right? Is a Thermite rotating too? Thermite and Kali should be rotating Master right now? Kali is still a big tower. Would be an issue. It looks like they got the mute jammer off somehow. Not sure how. Oh. how did they breach it? From below? You? No. Nades? Not quite sure how they managed to breach that. Ah, uh, that is not the play. I think. Why? I think I think it's better to have like two players here, right? It's like, like Panic still has like probably a bunch of Magnus left, like uh, here ADS. Should be able to play the shield for a while longer, and then Panix can play Eric, and Kendrew can play this kind of angle. I'm not sure what this is about. Because like now they're just making it easier because. Uh, they potentially can't crossfire. Okay, there he stopped. Okay, I like it. And again, we see actually somewhat similar to what we saw in the TSM game, right? Like we see a mute going close, shotgun, in um, this room here, right? Like mute going close, shotgun. And we also see a Sledge sneaking in below. Oh, like in the TSM game, it was Sledge. But this kind of sneaking in below, I think, is. Very important. He shouldn't have shot that cam though. Yes, it's here all the warmer magnets. Be able to hold the uh, attic that way. And so many. Look at the shields. It's so strong. <laughs> the shields are insanely strong. This one too behind big window. But uh, Prana could win this here. All right, Prana walks up. Okay, nice. Also gets the kids player. Was it a mistake to not have anyone white stairs? Oh, it's probably difficult for them to have white stairs control, right? But you see how important white stairs is, right? Like, mm. and this is also why you want to play two in attic. Play this guy holding this, and you want to play this guy holding the cross. But I guess he wasn't able to hold it here for some reason. And now that there's no defender on big window, uh, on uh, on white stairs, you can just plant in this corner. 
Like technically you can smoke uh, through the wall. You can clip the smoke through the wall here. But I'm not even sure if they know that well, that they are planting. Did Secret give up uh, pushing Big Tower in the end, Attic in the end? I guess that makes sense. Certainly, like, like that's a, like him getting through. Like, that, that's pretty much what won the round here. And the fact that they have white stairs control. People being played to play video games, probably watch them and judge them. That's a very good title. Rolls off the th rolls off the tongue. VP sucked so hard yesterday. Yeah, I was a bit, uh, was a tiny bit disappointed. I I hoped for I had hoped for a closer game. Hoped for a bit of a closer game, but I I thought the game was still good. I think uh, we still saw some interesting stuff on Clubhouse, as always with the Russian teams playing on Clubhouse. R4CCO2, thank you very much for the Trit Prime sub. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Most likely they're gonna patch smoke clipping in future. I mean, <laughs> they've been saying that they wanted to that they wanted to fix it for about uh, two years now. Nothing really came off of that. So I don't know if they just gave up or if they. Uh, they don't want to fix it anymore. I mean, it's going to be fixed eventually. But, uh, not sure if uh, soon is going to be the right word here. VP Maverick wasn't in his best form. Yeah, that, yeah. Actually, that was a pretty huge, uh, pretty huge part of why VP underperformed on attack. Like that Maverick play was uh, pretty bad. And I just put it like that. No need to sugarcoat that. Is your phone on charge? It is. Thanks for reminding me though. Is it worth to use an Ash or Sophia charge to get rid of a Melusi thing? Probably. Probably yes. I mean, I guess it also kind of depends on the, on the on the spot where it's in. I would say that in general, it is worth it. Okay, so and this is the big tower take I was talking about earlier. I think this is a pretty nice example of a pretty well played big tower take, if I remember it correctly. All right, because if you open attic here, that means there's no vertical plane meeting. Right, there's just just impossible. Um, and you also don't need to push in here, right? Like, sure, you've got two people like playing kids, but you don't need to do anything here. You only need to check attic here. No, nothing else you need to do. And I guess this is pretty strong, right? Like, this is like a, he's in trophy holding a bullet hole towards attic. I guess that's kind of strong. But you're not holding attic off a gun, anyways, right? You wanna <coughs> wanna use a uh, drone. Losing my voice. Nice. Um, so I guess this could be a problem. The guy playing here, like like behind this kind of thing, like this might throw a wrench into the plan. But um, if that is really an issue, you can just breach the floor and attic, or like and like use it for like five seconds to kill that guy. I don't think that's too much of an issue. And then here, I don't think that's 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 an issue too, right? Like you you use Nomad to lock it off, um, and there are a bunch of different ways you can hold it, right? AS was holding it down, pretty well played. I don't think you need to walk up an attic. I think that that could be a mistake, because like if you if you happen to lose attic here, that's that's a bit that's pretty huge. I think you just want to hold it off a drone.
and uh, now you just ultimately uh, land. Probably behind uh, this uh, thing. I think this should cover your head, right? Like while you're planting, this should be covered here. And you can also, right? You can use nomad charges here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, he's planting, but uh, like his head kind of bobs down, and he's not exposed. So, and like, what are you doing against this? I can't just run up all the way through meeting, right? I think this was a really, I think this was a really, really, really well played attack. I think it shows why meeting is uh, not the not the bombs that you want to play third. Although I guess there were some really nice shots involved there too. But I li I like that attack. I like that attack a lot. Can't listen to this without Reaper's lovely voice. <laughs> Opinion on New Oregon, like or dislike? I like it a lot, I think. I think there's a uh, room for a lot of new strategies. Oh, I guess that's, that's also just due to it being a new map, right? I always like seeing new strategies. But I do feel like there, it's somewhat complex, right? It's not, less, it's not as simple as coastline or border. And I think there are a lot of different ways of attacking at the moment. I think there are a lot of different, I mean, maybe less ways of defending. There are certainly a lot of different ways of attacking, and I like seeing that. All right, so this is what I was talking about earlier, right? Like Navi, uh, we saw Tempo Storm playing both walls reinforced. Uh, TSM played only one wall reinforced. Navi is playing uh, zero walls reinforced with the shield on pillar. And I'm going to show you in a second when the camera pans back up. You see the shield here? All right, so he can kind of play this crossfire and with the guy in the Blue elbow. That your math ban really made those attacks difficult? Mm, I think a math ban makes attacks difficult. But I do feel like there's not that big of a difference between Kali and uh, Thatcher. Like, I do think Thatcher is stronger than Kali. 5 AFK? Okay. <laughs> um. But I do think that, uh, at least from a strategy perspective, uh, Kelly and Thatcher can be substituted quite easily, like with each other, can substitute each other quite, quite, uh, quite adaptly. Okay, so what is this clear in general? Full map clear? Kinda. I, I just like the fact that they're so, I don't know, it's not, it's not a rigorous map clear, right? Like there could be someone hiding at some point. I don't like the fact how are they not really clearing, you know, are they not rigorous about clearing the map. And I kind of do like how Navi is playing this, right? Uh, I feel like for both the TSM, like the TSM and uh, Tempest Storm match, we basically never saw a player play where Doki is playing right now. Uh, I do think I like that. This, I like that position though. Right? Now we have like we have Doki here. We have uh, a dog pillar and Wamai blue. Those are the positions you want to play, right? Here's, here's Wamai at the bottom of your, of your screen. And you get this, 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 right? I think that's pretty strong. How is Secret going to get in? I guess getting rid of that shield and evil eye. And in, in a way, uh, Kali is actually even better, at least in this particular situation, than Thatcher. But it's still difficult, right? I, I, I maybe, maybe would have preferred a shield for Jaeger here too. Maybe play Goyo instead of Doc. But I definitely like his positioning. Uh, 
Uh, how? Why are they inside blue though? Have they have they fallen back? Oh, nice. Has one I fallen back? But I don't think that's the play because then you're kind of leaving uh, Jaeger and Dog hanging. Yeah, looks like looks like Bomb I fell back, or he didn't really contest it. But you know, uh, previous games have thought have taught us that this is still very much defender sided. Oh yeah, he he fell back and he reinforced the wall. Might have been a bit too early, I think. Oh, also, the fact that Expo opened the right side right he had the option of opening either left or right but he chose to open the right side isn't that like an argument that the rotation hole should be on the left side then because like now chaos can play this nice angle where he, he only needs to check this right like uh all the three peaks are going to come here right like the, the closed laundry peak is going to appear here the hallway peak is going to appear here Freezer peak is going to appear here. It only needs to check this one angle and cuts the entire side. That's not true if the hole is on the other side, though. Okay, pretty nice nade. I guess it just happens when you invest that much utility in a pillar area. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he would have gotten that kill with Thatcher too, I think. I like that nade though. That's uh, we're probably going to get a lot of kills with that nade in general. Missing missing streams is sucks. Has something changed in terms of strats from T3 matches on this map? I'm about to sneeze again. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Um Actually not that much between I think there's actually not that big of a difference between T3 and uh Pro League in terms of strategy on Oregon at the moment. But I do feel like attacks are quite a lot better, right? Like, especially uh, secret attacks. That's, that's, that, there's a big difference here between T3 and secret attacks here. You can just see how secret attacks are just way more planned out, way more coherent. Although that's not something I would say about uh, Tempo Storm TSM, which we watched earlier, where I think all of the attacks were a bit lackluster. Kelly OP now maybe? No, nah, it's just because Thatcher and Maverick are banned. If uh, either one of them was available, they would just play Maverick or Thatcher instead of Kelly. And what do we see now? Same thing again. Certainly seem to work for secret. But I do feel like that like that kind of 3v3, like in the end, that was still uh, defender sided. Not quite sure how uh, Secret managed managed to win it. I guess mainly because of the nade, right? Like the freezer nade was pretty huge. Um. Jaeger can't catch the Kelly things, right? Uh, he can. Okay. I mean, I guess, I guess with Nomad on the, on the roster, it's fine to only like take half map control, right? You don't even really need map control, anyways. Well, I like seeing Bandit here. I like seeing Bandit a lot. I feel like if ah, but now they swapped off of Hibana. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I do like playing, I do like seeing Bandit a lot here. I feel like uh, if uh, Navi was able to um, have that wall closed in a previous round, that would have been an easy win in, in that 3v3. 
Okay, and, and they said they, said they decided to not hold that at all. I guess that makes sense. Did you just ban a trick this here? Uh, I, I can't remember the last time I've seen a fail. I've seen a failed bandit trick, to be honest. All planned to get the kill. Interesting. And, and now they open the left side. So I guess it's not as clear cut as, that, as it was. Hmm. I certainly like this position. I do think, uh, I think this seems to be a pretty strong position. But that's only really true if attackers are playing only one hard bridge. I think if attackers are playing double hard bridge, I think you want to open this. Okay, now nades aren't... Uh, yeah. why, why? You don't need to peek this, right? No, I don't think you need to peek this. I think you're supposed to hold something like this. And yeah, no, I don't think you'll peek this. Be a reason why you would. But I think they have a second freezer player, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hello? Am I missing something here? What's, why? why? I mean, I guess it's a bit weird. Mm. Like, hmm. If they had five players, I think like the the optimal positions here are probably one more here, right? Like you play those four spots. If you like these five, I think. That seems like optimal positioning for that situation. And I think if that's the case, you never actually peek here, right? Like you always just wait until you get peeked and then for that hallway guy to swing. But just because you don't have a player at the end of the hallway, that's not, that's not enough to, not enough to make it optimal to peak this. I think this is a pretty, pretty big mistake. I think this is round losing here. Yep, I think this mainly came down to both those freezer guys peaking. I think that was a. Uh... Pretty big mistake. Jaeger vs Wama, which one would be better for solo and also competitive? Uh, solo, probably Jaeger, I guess. And competitive, you play both. Yeah. I think they really, like, there's really like a big interaction effect of bringing both. You really want to bring both. I actually like secret attacks a lot though. Like let's let's just say um they weren't playing that strategically when I was uh, with uh, I guess I was only really working with KS here, never never worked with the other guys, so it's just it's an entirely different team, right? It's not the not the team that I coached anymore. But uh I do like the way they're playing. I do think there is a bunch of uh, smart stuff going on here. Is it strategically worth to shoot a Sophia and Malusi gadget? Depends. Probably yes, though. If you get picked up by a team, let's say Rogue, would your username be reaperan.rogue or would it be reaper.rogue? It would be reaper.rogue. And you will never know the true meaning of Ian. Almost 2am here, gotta go. Have a great day. Keep up the good work. Also, when is the next brainstorming stream? Mm. 
Not sure. I haven't, I haven't planned another one. But thanks for hanging out. Some say KS Kelly descended from heaven. Certainly, uh, certainly doing pretty well on it. I know, I remember this. I love it. I love it. So great when crouch walkers get punished. I actually feel so happy. <laughs> Not quite sure how this happened though. Like, is Prano just like 500,000 IQ and he knew that Ash was crouch walking? Or did they have some kind of uh, scrim information? Or what happened here? I also like to see where. Well, how does that happen? It did catch. It did catch one of the things. Where are the ADS? Um, right, that's the same way Navi was playing it. I think that's pretty strong with the shield in attic. But this ADS is a bit misplaced. I think both of them should be on like the wooden stack. Navi is certainly doing a better job of clearing that. And um, are they going for a split two? They're certainly playing double hard bridge, right? Leads me to believe that they are playing master split two. They are. I think that's pretty good. That's what you want to do. Do you want to open this? Because like that, that it might actually not be the correct play. Because obviously, once you've opened this, it's a bit hard to play here and like check these angles. Because you're exposed to kids too. But on the other hand, if you put a lot of emphasis, if it's really important for your strat to actually get like lower attic control, which it could be, then it makes sense to put these holes. So I'm assuming this just means that uh, they do in fact put emphasis on. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, he was actually getting a kill there. <laughs> I did not expect that. Uh, I remember that one, they kind of lose it because they kind of like uh, flail about here, not doing anything, losing control of sight in the meanwhile. What do you do here? Yeah, like, I think that mainly came down to them losing uh, a bunch of time trying to pick up that smoke. Also not quite sure what Prano was doing. Let's, let's, I want to trace Prano's steps here. Right? What are you doing with Jaeger below? Are there holes set up to deny a plant? No. Are you in a position to flank? Also no. And you don't even want to flank because 4v4. Five, five I don't see a reason why you wouldn't be white stairs right now. You always want to be white stairs here. Ooh, down the expo, by the way. That was pretty huge. I think now Gano should at least be like. Uh, maybe he plays below the holes to hold big window? But I think that white. I think the top white is a bit more important here. Yeah, he's currently defending big corner jump in, I guess. Makes sense with uh, Expo injured. But I do think that top white would have been the better choice here. And like kind of, they were all sudden, like all of a sudden, all of, the, all, of all three of them were like kind of stuck in kids. That was also a bit of a problem. Who cares what you're doing on attack when you can just make Doki run in and kill everyone? Yep. That's a strat too, I guess. <laughs> EN does not mean English.
What if you open the hole on the far right of the wall instead, so you could hold the angles close to the wall without being exposed to kids? I think that makes more sense. Yep, yeah, I think that makes more sense. And now we can see a secrets interpretation of the basement hold. They're also playing a shield pillar, so I don't think that's too controversial. How many was reinforced? One. Okay. Now this is kind of... What is this about? <laughs> Do you need... I think like... I don't want to use your reinforcements in some other place, I think. Like, there are quite a few things you want to reinforce if you could. I don't think, and what's going to happen here is, um, like, I'm assuming he's, yeah, he's playing close shotgun, right? I guess. But the floor above is destructible. I don't see him being uh, that impactful here. And I guess, I guess it's awkward to clear him out, right? Because it's mute and you're kind of... A bit worried here. Panic should be able to clear this out. Okay, nice, good see. Yeah, now mute probably drops back. Yeah, not I'm not sold on that. How many freezer walls are reinforced? Kinda of seems like they don't know that mute spin, that mute has dropped already though. Okay, one. Uh, okay, was there no shield here? That's a bit. That's odd. And two freezer walls reinforced again. Everyone so far has been reinforcing freezer. I guess TSM was were the only ones who left it open, or left one wall open. Interesting. I don't know. I still like. I still like having holes in freezer. I'm not the. Uh, Not convinced that reinforcing freezer is the play. Okay, what is this? Freezer freezer laundry split? Because like now again, right? Like attackers can only focus have the luxury of only focusing on Jaeger here. They can like easily get rid of the uh, ADS and then they can ultimately nade him. And there's nothing Jaeger can do. Okay, maybe you wanna waste the ADS first. Okay. Yeah, of course, if you don't waste the ADS, then it's uh, a bit of an issue. And right, and, and <laughs> already this position is better, right? Like you want to have it that way as a defender. Yeah. I don't know. I like I like uh, having one hole in the wall at least. But this was mainly due to them not uh, playing around the utility correctly, right? If they uh, properly waste waste uh, waste the ADS, they manage to nade Jaeger out. That's winnable. Not that way though. Does EN stand for Eintracht? No. <laughs> it does not. Do you think you can attack from blue without roam clearing? Uh, I think so, if you also combine it with big tower. I think if you take uh, big tower and blue, I think it's possible. Although it's a bit resource intensive and uh, Awkward to play. But I do think it's possible. I've already copy pasted what EN stands for from Google many times. Please do it again so everyone knows what EN truly means. Please enlighten us. EN enlighten us. Okay, so is this this is is this a tower hole too or are they just yeah okay makes sense last time uh, 
Navi did a really good job of clearing that shield early on. That was pretty important. And then I think in late game it mainly came down to Secret not having a guy top white stairs. I think that's why they why they lost uh, previously. It seems like the one well, my magnets are already placed better, but I I think uh, I think an explosion would destroy both of them. Yeah, there you go. En noun. A unit of measurement equal to half an EM and approximately the average width of a typeset characters used especially for estimating the total amount of space text will require. There you go. Seems like a different check though. No big tower pressure. Oh, I, I remember. Oh, this, this is a really cool round. Look at this. And actually also kind of creative. Like, I don't think it's good, but it's creative. Look at this. And just like full auto fire. <laughs> right, like obviously Kelly can break. Uh, Kelly can break. Windows with one shot, right? So maybe you're not expecting it, and then you just, just jump in straight after it. And I do like the combining it with uh, pushing up white stairs. But I'm not, I'm not, uh, maybe it's good as a one off. Maybe it's actually good. I don't know. You were a rogue analyst, why did you not continue to analyze an ESL? Uh, because I didn't want to. Uh, didn't get the uh, offers from teams that I liked working with. And I declined the other offers. I'm lucky that Maestro was in dorms. But there's probably someone going to be in dorms, right? Like, obviously, like I, I, I agree. Uh, having Maestro there is extra unlucky. But I do think you can also get two kills with... Uh, Someone else being in dorms. They use the flash for clear the mute. They don't have more for the Jaeger last round. Uh, I'm not sure what, which round you're referring to, to be perfectly honest. And now we see, okay, I like secret. I like, I like uh, their decision to hold dining here. I think dining is better than uh, dining is better, but I would like to see some more shields, right? Like the way I envision like the dining defense is you play like a shield here, you play a shield here, and you play a shield like here, and then you also play kids, play these kind of angles, all of the shields, right? I am missing some shields here, especially, especially with opening a wall, right? You definitely want to play shields if you open the wall. And, uh, and then you defend uh, kitchen from above, right? Like you defend dining from kitchen with shields, and you defend kitchen from shields, uh, from above. And if I remember correctly, Navi is also going to struggle with uh, verticality, he verticality here. Who do you think is one of the best analysts in Siege? Uh, pretty much impossible to tell, right? Like, uh, we have no way of knowing uh, what exactly an analyst, or a coach for that matter, or in-game leader for that matter, really provides. So, I don't think you can make a statement about that, really. Okay, I think no mute is a bit of a, is a bit of an oddity. God bless the double sneeze. But you see what Secret is about to do here, right? Like, uh, reinforce this off. And then they can hold kitchen door from with these holes. They can hold, uh, they can hold uh, the kitchen default plan with these holes. Although I guess you are exposed to kid's window. But... Um, yeah, I like guess it's certainly not unbeatable, right? But you do have to put in some effort to to discourage uh, its play.
Oh, actually, everything walled off. I, I like that, right? I think that's good. Because, like, what uh, was a bit of a problem for TSM is that they is that uh, the attackers were just allowed to jump in big window and denied head play that way. Obviously, if you reinforce all the way in all the walls and kids, that can't happen. It looks like this is kind of a meeting take, right? Kind of like attic big tower meeting. And you cannot plant here, right? You can't plant in this corner. First of all, because of this angle, and uh, secondly, because of holes above. Right, like Prano is holding that same thing. That was nasty. That's kind of wow! Oh, holy shit! I was actually. It was insanely well played, right? Look, look how he, look, like the thing is, he can't walk back because of the nade, but he also can't walk forwards so he, uh, because he, don't, he doesn't want to get meleeed, right? He kind of always keeps, it, like he keeps the perfect distance for the entire time. It's pretty, pretty amazing, right? Or is Sledge just not knifing here? Maybe he could hear? But I like, I certainly like the positioning. Certainly like the positioning. And now he just needs to run, right? Because Doki died. And still, there's no way to plant. Just uh, smoke it from above, even. There is no way to plant when you're doing it like this. I would like to see some more uh, emphasis on clearing kids, right? I think you can just. Uh, like they, they they were able to get control of this room, right? Like if they had just if they made it, if they play like properly, five players taking top floor and then five players all taking meeting, I think that would have been a lot better. Because like you can clear this, right? Like they had like Doki here, maybe you have another player here, have one kids repel, and then you can take control of at least this area. And you termite breach this, and then you can probably rotate down and. Uh, meeting oh they actually how did, how did they rush site though oh, hello wait i think uh, here everything is under control prano should be playing the holes on the floor right what's what's he afraid of oh that's that's pretty huge is pretty huge but prano can still win this from above yeah he should be not, not quite sure why prano isn't holding uh, holes here <laughs> i think he should be holding either a cali right oh, okay he's holding the cali oh, yeah, i guess it's fine i guess it's just uh somewhat unlucky that the uh, maestro died in cc still winnable from above though A nice game sense. Okay, not enough though. Mm. I do feel like that was a bit of a one-off though. I don't think that's that works as a consistent strategy. That, that just that only worked because uh mm, Maestro died getting wall back. Mold earbuds, thank you much. Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you, appreciate it. Panics tweeted that he had to play on his girlfriend's PC and couldn't remember the key bind to knife. Uh, okay, did he not have enough time to rebind the keys? Unlucky, I guess. Do a contest so we can get as close to gambling as possible. <laughs> I mean, make educated guesses over situations. Nice suggestions. How can you point like that? Uh, it's uh, called Epic Pen. Oh, wait, Mira was. Huh? Mira was open the entire time? Wait, I didn't even realize. Wait. I mean, I guess it's just that no one has Mira's just prepared, right? Like, Mira is actually crazy strong, it's just that no one has strats prepared and they didn't want to risk uh, freestyling Mira strats.
In Temple Storm, TSM Mirror was banned? I think so. But the same then, right? If, if Mirror wasn't banned for that game, same thing again. They just weren't expecting that Mirror was going to be let through. Which you shouldn't. No, really no reason to make Mirror strats here, I think. You're just uh, unnecessary splitting, splitting practice time. Like the game with Mirror versus without Mirror is just, it's basically a different game, right? So you, so by playing with Mirror, you don't get practice in for playing without Mirror. Well, this is huge though, right? Like, <laughs> okay, you never play Laundry or, uh, can, you can't ever play Laundry or Freezer here. Gotta go blue. I guess maybe with only Mute. Like maybe Kelly and Hibana can do something. I think you just go blue instead here though. Okay, open all the hatches. Still still flexible in terms of their attack. Now they should be spotting those mirror windows with Kendra's drone. I think that should be the sign to go big tower and blue. I'm not sure why you would play this position. Oh, pretty huge. Maybe Wam I can help you out. I'm quite sure um, this might have been mispositioned. And now Wam I should fall, fall back, right? He can't play this on his own, or he shouldn't at least, I think. But like now, there's no cross, there's no crossfire at the moment. Yeah, we. They certainly weren't ready for Doki pushing through here. Yeah, it's really nice to see, right? Like this, especially. Like, look at what Doki does right after he gets the kill on Wamai. Now he gets a kill and he immediately continues peeking, right? And I think that's pretty good, actually. Even though it might not, not sound that way, but uh, from the way, from the way he saw, like the fact that Maestro. Obviously wasn't aware that Doki was where he was. That kind of tells him that the whole team wasn't aware that Doki was where he was. And uh, you kind of get this kind of like a half a second window where you can peek for free. Because Maestro can't communicate the position of Doki here. Right? And you get like half a second for free. This is probably unnecessary by the way. <laughs> and this is unnecessary too. Um, but I certainly like the, the first peek. I think the... First, like the second peak after getting Maestro. I think that was uh, pretty smart because in that kind of time frame, no, no one can communicate information. Reaper, can I come here to satisfy my gambling addiction? Ah, you're about two weeks too late, or one week too late. No gambling in chat allowed anymore. Loki really uh, carrying that round and the round previously. They were actually rushed because Panix PC wouldn't run Moss, and so he had like three minutes to switch PC, or else Navi would lose by forfeit or something. Ah, uh, that's truly unlucky then. Uh, yeah, we already watched Temple Storm TSM. Oh, we go. Reaper like removed gambling on the first day of him streaming. <laughs> I did. I, I turned it on for one day and I immediately removed it after that day. Because chat was just flooded with people uh, gambling their life savings, their IQ away. Quite literally gambling their IQ away. Gotta appreciate the irony.
Bring back gambling? No. Hell no. Okay, what is this? Again, another kitchen extension. Interesting. A lot of a lot more teams are playing the kitchen extension. I would have expected. I think this just opens up possibilities for like a master tag or like for a master big tower split. Same thing that we've been seeing uh, quite a few times already. Are they still running double hard bridge? Yeah, of course they are. Doki. <laughs> Loki playing like the Shaiko way of uh, playing Hibana, I guess. Like the thing is, because I think like pulls isn't actually that relevant there. I think like, sh like you can deny kids plans, but like no one is ever going to plant kids. Uh -huh. The only relevant plant he can deny from kids is uh, wait, I'm going to show you in a second, maybe. Okay, and you see here nice like nice coordination between uh, Kali and uh, Ivana, right? I think something. Okay, I mean, okay, <laughs> he actually destroyed Ivana Charles, right? But uh, I was talking coordination. Yeah, <laughs> coordination in terms of uh, them being together on the same side of the map. The I think TSM lost uh, a few percent in two rounds because they didn't have Ivana and. Uh, Kelly on the same side of the map. And I think this is how it should go. Uh, oh, here, this is the only spot that pulls Candy Knight from Kitchen. It's like, yeah, it's, it's relevant, right? This is a planned spot. But I don't think it's too relevant. But then everything else is just gets, gets, just gets denied by Ash below. This is obviously pretty huge. I do think you want to have a walkable rotation in uh, in uh, Iliad, though. And I think you you want to play white stairs here again, right? You don't want to like you don't want to play it too below. I don't think you can really. I don't think you really get the opportunity to, to see for anything meaningful here. I think it's much better to play one white stairs. You should rotate white stairs now. I think I think this should be a walkable rotation. Like see, like imagine if this was a walkable rotation and Doki just walks in. There's no one top white stairs. This is uh, free. I think top white stairs is really really important here, and they know that white stairs is clear. I think. Okay, nice. I just gotta wait a bit. Yeah, now Doki walking in, right? Still no one top white stairs. Okay, hey, to be fair, he did get the the plant. He did get the C4 kill. Right, like, some my plans here. Pulls gets a C4 kill. Hmm. But, do you need pulls for that though? Like, do you need two people below for that though? I still think you at least want to have uh, a White Stars player. At least one. Like, sure, maybe. Like, have a C4 player below, I guess. But I think you definitely want to have or someone top white stairs. Because I think he still want to go. Okay, he wasn't trying to plant, but he got C4 anyways. I could see how, how free Doki is right now because no one is. Uh, oh, nice hearing. <laughs> no one is top white stairs. And Doki. There's not. Where? Is there not even a rotation in there? Oh no. That's terrible. That is tragic. <laughs> that lost them the round 100% of the time. That's actually so bad. Yeah, and like, did Ronald really do anything from below here, right? Like, he still his C4. I think he would have been much better off uh, top white stairs. And this is the second round that uh, the secret loses because they don't have top white stairs control. I do think top white is very important. All right, that's it for the video. Again, this one was recorded in one of my streams. So if you enjoy that style of content, you should follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. Okay, I hope you learned something new and thanks for watching.